off. Recording? Yep. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we all know Brian Besco. My name is Dwayne Gardner. Online I'm known as Organite Austin. Uh, OrganiteAustin.com will take you to some of my good stuff. Uh, I have the very fortunate ability to hang out with Brian for a little bit. Uh, when I found out about his 5D animator after reading his book, I called him up and I was like, all right, I got to come see it. So I left Austin, came up here for the 5D animator. It was well worth it. It's well worth it. Um, the Harmony Rings will do the same thing as the 5D animator. However, the Harmony Rings require you to put in some effort and some time. The 5D animator is like that. So uh, in my opinion, if you're an energy worker, you work in energy on people with people, then perhaps the training of you getting things done with this is more effective, as opposed to if you are already doing what you're doing and it's not exactly energy work, then get to the 5D animator, spend eight, 10 minutes in there, and you'll be off flying. Um, I spent some time in the 5D animator today. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, a couple times. A couple times. Uh, uh, my first experience when I was standing there is I, I, I wanted to pick up the baseball and throw it, is what it felt like. Um, and what that was was just kind of the feeling of wanting to get stuff off me. Get stuff off me, just like, I don't need that anymore. I don't want it. I can feel it. It's, I, it's there. Yeah. So that was my experience in the 5D animator. And then after I finally shook it all off, it felt like I was floating in the ocean just looking up. And that's, that's pretty darn peaceful. Um, after, uh, later on that day, I started to realize that my inner child was peeking out. And I was really aware of it, which I have not been aware of, nor was it peeking out as much as it is. Uh, 5D animator is phenomenal. Um, another thing that has happened since I've spent time in it, which is only today, um, I can really feel where somebody is focusing whether they're focusing in this direction or on that thing. It's like I've become telepathetic all of a sudden. Tel telepathetic. What is it? <laughs> it? Sounds like the perfect word to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my testimonial for the 5D animator. Get to it. It's priceless. It, it does some phenomenal things. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes from me after time goes by. Um, so the Harmony Ring... And the book, I'm sure you all know about it. Get it, please. And come see Brian. So, so that's all I got for the 5D animator. Right on. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, my experiences with tensor field generators. Yes, please. Okay. So uh, tensor field generators, well, let me back up. I am accustomed to meditating to the sound of the sun, which is like an electronic didgeridoo, just ooh. So I'm used to that and I know what it's like. Uh, I made a tensor field generator and then I played this sound and it was like, whoa, I feel it all of a sudden. So that was my first experience with a tensor field generator. Um, and then I was like, all right, let's just see how crazy we can get. So I completed like uh, 12 or 20 of them in one day, uh, hung them in my room to spin and being around them, I went through a mental breakdown because what they do is shine the light on the situation and it can do two things as far as I've seen. Uh, it can either illuminate what's there so you see it and that's what causes a mental breakdown or it can shine the light on something and start burning it up. The first occasion is shine the light on what is there and I went through a mental breakdown. Uh, about a year later I constructed 20 or 22 of them in the same day, hung them up in my room and I, my body started detoxing and it was, I got really sick so that's the light shining and burning things out. Um, so that was really interesting. So you, you, you like to go for the gusto. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Dwayne was one of the first people that started to make the, the tensor tools. Um, you know, he's one of the people that I know of that's been, been doing it since, uh, you know, since I've started. So um, the, the new generation of, of the people who are making the tools. And... Um, which is, which is another reason that we're getting together is because we're going to just keep expanding out these new consciousness tools out there, you know, versus the, the 144s and the 177s that you've been working with that uh, are a frequency generator and they can just blast away and not take in account of, of 
grace and ease where all the templates that are from like the harmony and the galactics they they work with the higher soul self and they bring stuff through with grace and ease but then again <laughs> grace and ease not my style <laughs> well when he got the harmony ring so one harmony ring i received in the mail and i went through a detox i got as sick as a dog for two days off of one harmony ring which usually does not occur to people almost every person it is with grace and ease but again that's um, not my style yeah there you go <laughs> i like to push the envelope uh, that's great that's great that's that's why we get along <laughs> Woo cool oh my goodness uh okay so let's talk about my book yeah totally all right so Uh, the title of my book is The Science of Rain. Now here I am playing with spiritual stuff and my book is titled The Science of Rain. Well, it is catered to the average Joe, the average ordinary individual who is accustomed to modern day acceptance of science. So in my book of, called The Science of Rain, I talk about the way electricity is affecting biology, the way electrons are inhibiting the humidity from turning into clouds, because humidity turns into clouds when the sky is negatively ionized and electricity is producing electrons filling the sky with positive charge. So humidity cannot turn into clouds because the electricity is making the sky positive charge. So uh, get rid of the positive charge, induce negative ionization, and that turns humidity into clouds, which accompanies rain. Um, we didn't have to do this before electricity, but since electricity stepped in, it kind of broke the chain of events where water evaporates from the ocean, comes over the land, turns into clouds, and falls down. So the science of rain, I mean, the science of rain, not my book, but the science of rain is actually real simple. With the one chain link that we've broken is the negative ionization of the sky, which allows humidity to turn into clouds. So that is the basis of my book. Now, on the ninja side of things. Uh, my book is full of all of my spiritual experiences, my energetic experiences, and stuff like that. <laughs> and some real things that you can, can, can work on yourself. I mean, that's, that's a beautiful thing. It's also a handbook. You know, it shows you the ways to, to go about to do things, not just, you know, a, a scientific manual. Yeah, yeah. I've introduced, how to. Uh, I've introduced every energetic tool that, I can, that I've come across. Um, I do my absolute best to explaining these energy tools in a simple, comprehensible, scientific fashion. Um, I asked somebody the other day, who was a Native American Indian, and I said, all right, so where's the melting point between science and spirituality? And he said intention, which is... A big part of making the rings so don't know where that came from but <laughs> I, I, you know, and that's what we're doing is we're out there on on, on that leading edge of, of, of melding the, the science and the spirituality because um, you know and that's that's what we're doing with the new rings too is it is it is a meld of the the science which was what all the older frequency rings were um, that we've been making up until this point and now then these things are doing things that science cannot explain and we are working totally on the spiritual side of things um, which is a great thing so anyway things are um, shifting yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and i and i appreciate that you're here doing this work too because uh we, yeah we all need to be able to learn how because i mean there's a lot of people out there that are making the tensor rings these days i mean tons and tons of people that you can see on facebook and now how could you ignore something like this hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so you know it's uh, it's getting all the people who are out there making this stuff and helping them step up to that next level of creation which is uh that science and spiritual bridging so the blending and the melding of the two mm -hmm. i uh so as I, as I begin my studies into uh, the, how this spiritual stuff works, um, I started seeing science and everything. And from what I have seen in my time is, and this is my opinion, uh, the only thing that is spiritual is connecting with other people, connecting with yourself, connecting with nature, with the earth. That, in my eyes, is the only thing I've ever seen as spiritual because these spiritual tools are, there's a technical aspect to them and 
intention kind of is, is, is bridges the gap, um, brings in the impossible to the possible into this realm. Intention is the basis to all creation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So. So, yeah, be sure to check out the Science of Rain. You can find it on Amazon. And the scienceofrain.com also. So that'll lead you straight to it. Perfect. So. Perfect. Um, my name is Dwayne Gardner. I'm Organite Austin. You can find more about me at organiteaustin.com. Uh, these are my pendants that I make. So these are available as well. Yes. These are really phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal pendants. Um, yeah, I've been wearing mine for over two weeks straight, and uh, it's, it's, yeah, they, they are super phenomenal. Thank you. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Black Sun Organite is the uh, mixture recipe that I've come up with. Uh, the traditional Organite is plastic with uh, metal shavings. Uh, what I have done, and, and quartz crystals, what I have done is instead of metal shavings, I use iron filings, the smallest particle possible. I crush crystals into a powder, and the density of it makes it look black. Now, I play the sound of the sun to them while they're being cured, so the sound of the sun is imbued into them. So there's where, where I came up with black sun organite. So. If you really want to know how to make them... <laughs> It is in the book. It is in the book. It's really great that you share that information. That's fantastic. Thank you. So Thank that's, you. you know, and that's, uh, and watch out for this guy because he's going to be bringing a lot of really good information out there. I mean, that's, that's what he wants, you know, that's, that's his soul's passion is to share this information with people. Um, so, yeah, keep your eyes out. It's going to be fun. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <on. laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>